review of how to do the Turkish get-up and today I'm going to do it using my shoe that will be on my hand instead of my foot and the reason that I'm using a shoe is because when we actually do a proper Turkish get-up we would be using a kettlebell or a dumbbell but for teaching purposes I'm using a shoe because it keeps my hand in the correct position and if I start uh, unlocking my wrist the shoes obviously going to fall on my body so today we are going I'm going to show you the Turkish get up on the right side the shoe is on in my left hand just like a, a waiter's tray and I'm going to start with my left leg bent so always remember if you're doing it with a, on your left side your left leg and your left arm are both in the up position. Right arm's out to the side, right foot is kind of at a 45 degree angle. My whole arm is straight, so my elbow's locked. My shoulder is pressing into the ground. The first movement I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll to the right and come up onto my elbow. I'm looking up at my hand and pressing up so that both my arms are now straight. From there, I'm going to do a hip hinge to come to bridge. And then I'm going to bring my knee back underneath me. Keep looking up and come to kneeling. Windshield wipe this knee or the foot so that your feet are now in one going in one direction one forward one backwards roll your back toe under and come to standing come to balance and then everything in reverse so step back put your knee down put your arm down and windshield wipe your foot back from there, press and come into that bridge and then sit back down and roll down to the ground. So one more time, you're going to roll to the right, push up and into a straight arm position. Hinge your hips up and come into a half kneeling position and then windshield wipe your foot back, roll that toe under, push into your front foot and come to standing. And then drop back, arm out to the side, windshield wipe your foot back and then bring it forward and underneath you or underneath you and forward. And then drop down slowly. Okay, so that's your Turkish get up. Obviously you need to do it on both sides. If you can work up to doing one on each side, that would be amazing. Some of you may need to just come to this position. So just coming to this position is good. And then rolling back down again and coming to your bridge position and rolling back down again so that you're working on a long spine and a hip hinge and then when you feel comfortable you can go to that next level of coming into your kneeling position and at that point you may need to drop your shoe and come into a standing position but please break it down so that it works for you and that way you will have success doing it. But the Turkish get up, like I said, heaven forbid we fall, but the good thing is you have the strength, you have the mobility. This is a great neurological exercise for us to do because it really stimulates our brain into thinking, okay, what's coming next? So practice. If something hurts, stop. 
but break it down for yourself so that you succeed in the little bit of the Turkish get-up that you're trying to accomplish for yourself. Anyway, that was fun. I've only done about 20 of these videos, so I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, but hopefully that's given you some tips to do the perfect Turkish. <laughs>